was depending on where you are, whether it's afternoon or morning. Yes, my name my name is uh, Anthony Beidou. I am a Ghanaian um, in Ghana. I work at the University of Energy and Natural Resources, specifically in the Department of Forest Science as, as a lecturer. And currently pursuing my PhD at Agro Paris Tech, a BS doctoral school. And this uh, PhD is being funded by the the French government through the, the French embassy, and then also the Ghana government through the Ghana Scholarship Secretariat. I mean, this was a scholarship that took almost about 100 plus people applied, and about 10 of us were selected for, for interview. Out of it, three of us were awarded, and I happen to be one of those people that had the opportunity to, to be doing this. and. I've been doing this for the past year, and this is supposed to be, or this is my report for the past year being in the PhD. My, my topic, or, or the title of the PhD thesis is Chinese presence in Ghana's grassroots sector from the global political point of view to domestic realities. And my supervisors are Philippe Miral and then Sanforian Ongolo. This will be the presentation outline. First look at the context and motivation of the study, and then also the research objectives, questions and hypotheses, the conceptual and methodological approach, then activities, and then also validated training. So context. China's desire and trade in rosewood uh, goes with that is being a range of hardwood species mostly found in Southeast Asia, Africa, Central and South America is globally known as a lot of work has been done, especially in Madagascar, in Gambia, a lot of work has been done and documentations have been put in place in that regard. Even in Ghana, some works have been done. Now in Ghana, illegal logging of goosewood is widespread in the savannah ecological zones of Ghana and that is the the northern part, mostly the northern part of Ghana, that comprises of the northern region, upper east region, upper west region. Now, because of this rosewood trade, a lot of Chinese have been in Ghana. I mean, rosewood is part of the reasons why most of the Chinese have, have been in Ghana as, as we speak now. And then also the Galamse, I mean. And, and because of that, the Ghanaian authorities even have had the opportunity to sometimes impound the, the rosewood tracks of, of, of some Chinese. And in your shot is, is a lady who is popularly referred to as Helena, Helena Huang, who, who was arrested, I mean, a couple of, a couple of years ago for, for, for allegedly trading in, in, in rosewood. And the Ghanaian situation demonstrates how global forces interact with processes to shape the environmental resource extraction. Angolo and the others contend that it is important to ascertain the interest and motivation of different actors involved in forest governance issues in Ghana. This thesis therefore seeks to contribute to the debate of, of, of rosewood and forest governance in general, also looking at the voluntary partnership agreement that is VPA, the European VPA voluntary partnership agreement of forest law, governance, and trade. Research objectives. The main research objective is to assess the power dynamics and related governance processes of Ghana-China rose trade since the early 2000s and investigate how the VPA flecked, that is a voluntary partnership agreement, that is forest law, enforcement, governance, and trade of the EU to know its prospect and also its limiting factors. Specific objectives, to identify the key actors, factors, and formal and informal interests that ensure the, thrive, the thriving of Ghana's rules and trade with China. And then also to assess the, the dynamics of, of, of access, how, how the Chinese and the different actors in the rules route Colombo have been able to, to, to secure this rules route for, for and ensure the thriving of the trade. Also to assess Ghana's VPA licenses process and its limiting factors, the challenges and the prospect. 
the main question for the thesis is what are the power dynamics and related governance processes of Ghana China Rules with investment and trade since the early 2000s? And what are the prospects and limiting factors for Ghana's VPA flag team? Specifically, we are looking at one, which key actors we are asking, one, which key actors factors and interests ensure the thriving of Ghana's continued rules with business with China and what are their specific rules. Then two, how did the Chinese rules with investors, uh, investors and other actors get access to the rules with in Ghana? Also finally, which factors are hindering Ghana's acquisition of the flag license? As hypothesis, we have these three main hypotheses. The first one being Rosu trade in Ghana thrives based on the collective effort of different actors, each of which plays different roles. The next one, the Chinese Rosu investors did not have direct control of processes to secure Rosu in Ghana. And then finally, Ghana has not secured the flag license because it considers other trade incentives from other places, like, for example, China more important.